Welcome to today's coffee break. Today we're going to talk about uh, tax exempt setups made easy. So this is the scenario and this is, um, it can be a little confusing to people and they think it's going to be a lot of work, but once you set it up, it all works beautifully. So here's the scenario. Let's say that we have a product line and in this case, I'm going to use uh, services or cloud-based services. And in one state that is a taxable service, while in another state, it is not a taxable service. And let's say that I have a customer that has uh, a location in Texas. In this case, Texas does charge for uh, tax on services. And they have another location in South Carolina that does not charge tax on services. So what I want to do is create a setup that will flow through so that the users aren't checking and unchecking tax liable flags and having to remember to do something special when they're entering a sales order. We want to make sure that the setups ensure that behind the scenes everything is working properly and that at the end of the day we get our sales tax reports and everything's correct. So what I'm going to do first, and I kind of step through this real slowly, um, is I'm going to show you my item card. So I'm going to items and let me find my cloud-based service. There we go. So I've created this item card and the important thing to note here is that the tax group code is services. Okay, so I have a tax group code in the system that says services, and I have others in the system as well, but in this instance, I went ahead and created a separate one for services, and it's now been associated with this item card, right? So we'll remember that, and we'll come back to that in a minute. All right, let me just back up now. I also have a customer in Houston and they are flagged as tax liable and this is the tax area code to which they belong so they do have to pay tax in this jurisdiction but they also have a ship to address I'm gonna click up here that's Columbia South Carolina and at the ship to address level I have that same setup as I do over here on their customer card where I can say that they are tax liable and that the tax area code is uh, Columbia, South Carolina. So you're probably wondering, I just told you that they don't charge tax in South Carolina, but we do want to say that this is tax liable. And the reason we want to do that is we sell a variety, variety of products to them in South Carolina, and some of them are taxable and some of them are not. So we want to mark them as tax liable, and then we're going to basically set up the tax group code for services with a 0% calculation. So it will do the calculation. It's going to say, okay, this person bought this kind of an item and we are going to calculate tax, but when it does the calculation, it comes back with zero. So we really don't charge them tax, All right? I hope you're still with me. So let's close this and let's go look at the tax setups. So I'm just going to go over here to administration, application setup, finance management, and sales tax. All right, so here's that group code. So this is the sales tax group that we put on the item card and we said that it's services. All right, so this is where that is maintained. Then I go to my jurisdictions and I see here that I have all the different jurisdictions for those two states, right? So or for our example, um, so I have the state of South Carolina and I have Columbia, the city, and then I have the state of Texas and Houston. And now I'm gonna pop down here to details and I'm just going to filter on the tax group code services so I can show you how that's set up. All right, so remember how we flagged the South Carolina location as tax liable? What will happen is when that person buys an item that is flagged as a service, this table will get referenced and it will look at the tax jurisdiction and it will see the tax group code from the item they're buying and then it will pop over here and it'll say, okay, I have to charge 0%. So even though we've tag tagged it as tax liable, it's not going to charge tax because we put 0% in here. On the other hand, if the main company, the customer card that was based in Texas, if they buy that same item that's flagged as a service, we now have in our details 
that the state of Texas gets uh, 6.25% and that the city of Houston gets 2%. So everything keeps looking back to this table to see what to calculate because we've marked it as tax liable, but it's looking at those different groups and the different jurisdictions to know what to charge and we just sort of trick it by putting zero in there. Let me show you, um, I guess, how it works in action. So let's go back up to our customer. All right. All right, so here's my Houston-based customer that buys cloud-based services. They're tax liable. Let's go ahead and create a sales order. All right. I'm just gonna close this up a little bit and then down here I'm gonna select that item, which is my cloud-based, that's not cloud, cloud-based service. All right, and you'll see over here that the amount including tax is the, the unit price is $200. And so I see the tax that we established in that detail table because it's looking at this item, it's seeing that it's a service, and it's looking at the customer card and it knows that it's tax liable and it's Houston and that's how it knows the rate. And if I look up here at my statistics, I'll see it here as well. There's my tax amount. Well now, let's say this is where I determine, okay, this is the customer, they are the ones who are paying for it, but we're shipping it to their South Carolina location in Columbia where they don't charge tax. So I just go down here to my shipping and billing, fast tab, and I open that up, and the ship to, I'm just gonna switch it to their Columbia location. And it's letting me know that the sales lines are going to be deleted and new ones created based on this different piece of information. And that's pertaining to the tax. So I click yes. And now when I look at my lines, my amount including tax is the same amount. There is no tax. And when I look at my statistics, I have no tax amount. Okay. So once you do this setup, everything is ma marked as tax liable the tax detail, the correct percentage is all done in that details table. And the end user that's entering the sales order doesn't need to worry about selecting the correct tax information. They just need to choose the correct customers, ship tos, and items. So I hope that helps clarify um, sort of an easy way to set up your tax exempt. Um, even though you're setting up it as liable, I hope it's not confusing to you. Um, anyway, so hopefully that makes it easy for you. That concludes today's coffee break. Thanks. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.